Technology committees um, is the topic of the moment. Uh, I'm the biggest fan out there, uh, probably the biggest fan around of technology committees. I think most nonprofit organizations, um, can, uh, small and mid-sized organizations can't afford having IT help on site. And larger organizations um, that aren't, unless they're very large, really don't have a lot of variety in the expertise they have. Well, there's a lot of specialization in IT and a, a wide variety of subjects and topics that come up. I just, you know, different sizes and different roles for different organizations, but I really strongly recommend to uh, most organizations, particularly organizations over a budget size of about a million, but I wouldn't limit it to uh, organizations only of that size. Smaller organizations can use uh, technology committees too. But I mean, if you've got a couple of uh, peers you can identify in the community that would be help willing to help your organization by taking a look at the technology that you're using, making sure you're doing planning, that you have an idea of sort of what's on the horizon for your technology, making sure that you're budgeting for the technology you've got. Um, you use it every day and organizations will completely forget or uh, conveniently forget that uh, they need to keep money in the bank in order to be able to replace that equipment when it dies. Um, there are organizations that uh, you know have people making salaries of tens of thousands of dollars a year who spend significant amounts of their day waiting for their computer to boot up or waiting for the ability to move files or um, just puttering around with things they should not be puttering around with. And the organization saves $200 um, on buying them a PC that year, you know, because you'll budget a PC over three or four years or a Mac over three or four years um, or a Linux box, whatever it is. Um, and, uh, you know, you will you know, stall multiple members of your staff. I think technology committees help, help you keep an eye on that sort of things. And if you can draw interested people from um, the community who would be willing to meet, you know, quarterly, a couple times a year, uh, draw a couple of people from inside the staff, I just think it's very valuable to have some conversations that are focused on your technology and focused on where the organization is going. So you make some changes and adjustments to your strategic planning of the organization, you should be addressing technology as you do that. But then you also need to bring some of that back to the people who are focused on technology. Um, you know, there's just, I, the organizations I see that do things really, really well, almost all have technology committees and they address these sorts of issues. Uh, it's not to say that you can't do it without them, but I think it makes things a lot easier.